Now you think that gardening remains the same, but it doesn't. It's changing all the time. It's really big business. And the plants are changing, the bulbs are changing, and lilies are changing. Pimento lilies. These are fantastic. Dwarf, beautiful. But they're oriental lilies. That means they're going to flower in July, August time. And the flowers are just as big. But the beauty of these is the stems are much, much shorter. Now for planting, I'm planting them in a pot. You can plant them out in the borders. And the fact that these are a dwarf means that you can have them as ground cover. Now in a pot like these are, and I've got two packs of 20 here, so I'm, I'm going to plant up quite a few pots because the perfume's fantastic. Now with uh, some John in his compost, I put some crocs in the bottom, just, just really to allow drainage because lilies do not like moisture at the, at the root crown. They actually start to rot, so let the moisture drain away. And any sort of drainage material through uh, old crocs, polystyrene balls, anything that just allows that moisture to drain away. Now it's as simple as that with a bit of John Innes compost. I use John Innes because it's really got the weight to it and outside, because these are all going outside on the patio, with, with a bit of weight to it, it's not going to trouble at all. Now in a pot this size, it'll take probably five bulbs, which is absolutely perfect and that will be a massive colour. Uh, and the colours are phenomenal. There's every colour you could actually wish for. Now dwarf growing orientals that are absolutely fabulous, like I said, Dwarf growing, beautiful flowers, and in August, July time, oh, you're going to get some perfume. And there's so many varieties. Garden Party, white with golden yellow stripes, wonderful. Gold Band, Little John, a delicate pink with a dark stripe edged white. Mona Lisa, that'll put a smile on your face. Muscadet, stocky, prolific white pink spots, oh, I tell you. Or Pimento, pottery white, oh, the... The choice is endless, the colours are endless, but I tell you what, the perfume remains the same. You try them in a border, ground cover, you can't beat it. And it's as easy and as simple as that, with five in a pot, done in no time. Some more compost on top. Get your hands in there, that's good. And I was thinking, I saw on the programme the other day, you know, uh, watching gardeners getting their hands dirty and that, and it's, uh, it's surprising really, because what you need is, to enjoy it. And if you enjoy wearing gloves, wear them. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make you less of a gardener because you wear gloves or don't like getting your hands filthy dirty. It just so happens that I don't mind. And it's as simple as that. Now, I'm planting these, but I bought quite a few. Because what I'm going to do, and what I'm going to try to do, is use them in the border as ground cover. Because bear in mind, the dwarf are growing these pimentos. They're Wonderful for ground cover. The flowers are just as big, so July, August, we're getting the flowers. And the perfume's going to be fantastic. This is a really good development, and I'm looking forward to July and August. Optimism, you see. That's what it's all about. So we're out in the front garden, and this is more to do with traffic and cars and movement going on. But you want to make a show. You want to make a bit of a hit for people that are coming. And these dwarf orientals are going to do that. I mean, June time we're talking about. Uh, they're just about to come in. They're looking really good. Another month, these are going to look fantastic. But then we're going to move on to the Asiatics, which are out now. And what a show. You get a neighbour come, you get your friends coming. They, they could not help but stop and say, oh, fantastic, what a show. But then you can hit them with the perfume. So as far as Little John's concerned, which is what this one's called, Little Jeff thinks he's fantastic and I'm going to do this every year from now on.